Hey guys, I'm Milan with Upro Beats, and today I want to show you my mastering setup with all the gear that I have and how I use it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, let's get right into it. So at the center of my studio is my RME UFX Plus interface. I use it because of the rocksteady drivers, build quality and connectivity. I want it to be future-proof. It has MADI, it has ADAT, lots of inputs, lots of output. Next up is one of my latest addition to the mastering chain and that's the Burl B16 plus the Burl BDA4M. That's the DA converter. It was a really tough decision to get this one because I was looking for a 4 channel DA converter. I wanted to have the same conversion for my speakers and also for the mastering chain. And the BDA4M was probably one of the only ones multi channel without being like 8 or 16 channels. It has some nice transformers, the build quality is really solid. I didn't use it that much yet to have my verdict on it, but I will probably have like a review in the future. Now that we have the D to A conversion out of the way, next up is the centerpiece to this mastering chain and that's the Tegeler Audio Manufacture connector. This is a matrix. This allows me to connect all my gear and use a plugin to route the gear inside the connector so I can have different chains. I can have an EQ first, I can have compression, I can change the order, I can solo the gear, I can bypass the gear and also really important is the ability to recall the order. The connector is connected to my network. I have an ethernet cable to my router and it's so much easier to make decisions when I can change the order of the gear. Then in the same rack behind me, I have the Krem, an SSL type compressor with a pull textile EQ. And the VTC, a tube compressor, again from Tegeler. Next, let's move to another interesting piece of gear. That's the Neve Master Bus processor. It's a compressor, it has saturation, it has a really cool stereo field editor. It's a powerhouse. It's really versatile and really complex. I barely scratch the surface with it. I have a video on it on the channel. I will have a review in the future. Next up, we have the Better Maker Rack, the limiter and the EQ. Really love the combo. As you know, the Better Maker gear has recall. Both units are connected via USB to my uh, computer. I can use a plugin. I don't have to reach out and use the knobs if I don't want to. Most of the time, I like touching the knobs. They feel great. The EQ is mid-side. It has a pull text section. One of the best mastering EQs that you can get. The limiter, again, really versatile. I use it mostly for clipping and sometimes saturation. That allows me to get my tracks louder without that much effort and without sounding really bad. The last in this analog mastering chain is the A to D converter and that's the Dangerous Music AD+. I got this because it has a lot of features, it's transparent, you have the clip guard so you can clip the converters on the way in. The A to D converter is used to capture the entire mastering chain so I go from the burr converters, the D to A, into the connector through all of the gear that I want to use. 
then capturing that signal with the dangerous music ad plus i can clip it it sounds really nice when clipped i like the sound i can engage a transformer i have the emphasis knob which is pretty magical and that's why i got it and with this mastering chain i can do my masters purely analog if i want to i still use some plugins for example i still use the pro l the limiter for the last limiting stage i still use the bx digital to do some corrective stuff i use the better maker mostly for boosting i still use plugins like suit or gulfos but this is the mastering chain it was something that i wanted for a lot of years it's a dream of mine to have the the gear that i have i'm really grateful and really happy to be able to work with something like this it's just incredible some downsides cables workflow which can be pretty time consuming also the recall i don't like that side of it but when it comes to sound it sounds absolutely amazing and i will probably do like a full video mastering a song fully analog with this chain so stay tuned for that i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe hit the like button don't forget to follow me on instagram and see you guys really really soon